Hey there. So I wasn't going to film today. Well, I was going to, but then I found out it's going to be raining. So I don't want to put a clear coat on these when it's raining, and I still have to do the wood dye. Um, I want to show you guys so you can put the succulent planters in there. Um, yeah, I know this. When I, when I was editing the video, I know that this beard is a little bit forward down here. I could push it back, but I just didn't care. And I actually realized it when I was curving it yesterday. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wood dye on here. Um, not wood dye. I'm going to use tattoo ink from like my last video. I got light green. This is just cheap Amazon stuff. I think it was like 20 bucks and you get all these uh, different colors. And this stuff will last forever. Like you'll get lots of use out of it. So I got this stuff. I got yellow and green. I think that's good enough for this gnome. Uh, I think I'm going to make his hat green and the body yellow. And this is just acrylic paint I did white and black. So how about I get uh, some water poured in these. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to roll this live. I'm pouring the water in the... Uh, tattoo ink. It's kind of disappointing because I did want to get the clear coat on the um, carvings. I got the, the Gnome Home, a.k.a. Fairy House, back here to put some Seto on it. Because when I made the video yesterday, it only has a, a coat of that spray, uh, spray urethane. Or spray stuff, not spray, but yeah, spray. Fuck, slow down, Jordy. Had some of this stuff on it. I used the whole can, so but that's not very good. This stuff's not very good for outdoors. My opinion. Okay. So let's just uh paint this silly little gnome flower planter. Put your Dr. Liz gloves on. Actually, the ink did come off my skin. One of the tattooers that watched my last video said, I don't suggest you doing uh any tattoos on yourself with this uh, ink might kill you because it's just so cheap, right? So, but I don't care if I drip it. So we'll do the, because it's kind of like folk art, we'll do the hat green. And this uh, cedar was wetter. It's all, it's all different wood soaps like um when i did that in the fairy house the colors really popped right but this one not so much i think it's just because the wood was wetter or also my scotch bright pads might have been they got worn out so they might have been worn out too like just not so scotch brighty We're talking about to get these grains come back. I'm not going to be worried about getting under the hat because well, this is going to be in somebody's garden or by their front door or something. And yes, I signed it on the bottom. Sign your pieces. Uh oh, we got some green down here. It's okay. It will blend in with the yellow. And you know if you're if you're blending your colors in, I noticed with the uh, roof of the um, the fairy house that I did with these tattoo things, don't blend too much colors in because it can. If you blend too much and it just starts looking like poo. So there's that's that. Now, where's the yellow here? Um, I'll just use the same brush. Let's see if this thing's even filming. Yep. Well, it's still pretty green. So let's do it on the back.
And that baby dragon, I'm thinking maybe I should do that whole thing. Just do it blue or something. Put some colors into it. Just, just to have some fun. I think I will lift up the baby dragon. Silly baby dragon. And uh, put a bunch of different... What's that in there? Put a bunch of different colors in it. Maybe blue. Okay, so... I'll get this done. It's pretty boring. And then, um, how about I lift up the baby dragon on here and we'll do that too. Just for, I don't know, just make a video. Just say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, so there's the gnome up there drawing. You got to remember when you first put your colors on, it goes dark because it darkens the wood. Once the wood dries, it will go lighter again. So here's the baby dragon. That little silly dragon. I'm not going to spend, I think I'll do, maybe do it uh, blue and red. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Oh, I got to take off and do something today. Normal people stuff. Gonna put my microphone, put my microphone lower so you guys don't hear me breathing in it. So we'll put the microphone down on here. Okay, so let me mix up some uh, paints. And uh, I'm going to mix up like 20 different colors. <laughs> I don't care. You care? I don't care. Okay, so I got blue, green, and uh, red mixed up. You know, the rocks down there, because I don't want to have to. Actually, you know what? Let's put the red on first. I'm going to need to get... We'll make these things and the feet red. I'm gonna get a little paintbrush, some little paintbrushes here too. To uh, do it. So here's red. Might as well put the red on first. Let's paint. That's not really that bright red, is it? Well, this is darker cedar, too. Uh-oh. See, if I get stuff on the rocks, I can just burn it out later. Because it's going to splat off all over the rocks. This is just, I might even just put this down in the spirit trails. Because this carving was just for fun anyways. I had this, uh, car I had it blocked out for a long time. And I never finished it. The one time I finally finished it. Kind of as a silly. Silly video. So I should know how to be silly. Silly's being silly. I'm almost 50 being silly. Almost 50. Perfect. Gonna have a good time. Okay. Let's do his beak red too. I don't care if we get it over here. Well, that's a friggin' mess. This will just kind of be like a uh, folk art. You know, they get paint everywhere and they just kind of get it done.
Okay. So we got some horns. Get these horns red too. I guess I'll have to spin it around. Oh, what color am I going to do the wings? This uh, this red, I got to put some more red in here. Do I got it out? It's not that red. Whatever, who cares? Yeah, I need to find some more of that pigment uh, red. Stand by. Okay. Uh, so, does anybody want to tell a story while I'm doing this? Story time? I think it's going to be raining here the next few days, so maybe I can get some Dremel carving in. Yeah, how about I just, uh, I'm going to edit this part out of the video, and then we'll see you when we do the blue. Okay, so I did, even did the wings uh, red. <laughs> so here's the blue. I wonder if I should do teal. I like that teal color. Um, ah, screw it. Let's go with the blue. You know what? I'm going to mix, mix up some of that teal too. Stand by once again. Stand by. Okay, so let me show you my laboratory here. One thing you don't want to do is spill it all over your table. But so we got uh, we got these colors right there. We'll try and make it as bright as we can make it without making it too bright. But then again, where's my paintbrush? But then again, if you make it too bright, that's okay. As I said in my last video, this world needs more brightness. So let me make sure this is filming. Uh oh, that's pretty bright. That's okay. Let's get some of this other color here. Get some of this other color. Well, maybe baby, baby, baby dragon should be bright, anyways. Yeah, that's pretty bright, all right. Where's some of that uh, blue? It's got some blue in there. Just have fun. That's what this is about, right? Just
Okay, where's the bright stuff? Little baby dragon! This wasn't, uh, it was first growth cedar, but it wasn't, there was, uh, there's rot holes up there. That's kind of why I made a little silly video with it. Oh, no, it's getting all over the horns. What I'm really just doing is making a mess. But I really don't care. I'll probably have to uh, script for this. Because I did that because I was getting too much uh, splatter on it. Yep, this is a piece of uh, Johnson Folkert Curving. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Curving Fusion Folkert. Well, I was, I know what I was going to do with this. I was going to paint it pink, bright pink, and leave it on one of my old friends. Uh, front yard but that didn't happen so I think we're pretty good you know you can get a rag too Yeah, I'm going to get a rag and kind of wipe that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that wing. Look at it! Um, I should probably do these rocks, too. Let me think of another invention color to do these rocks here <laughs> okay so you guys can see I don't know if you can see on the rocks there there's a bunch of blue I hate it when I do that we'll kick this down there's a bunch of blue and stuff down there like so I got some bright yellow here you know it's just fantasy. It can be whatever you want it to be. Like, have you ever seen bright yellow rocks? No, but guess what? Well, maybe you have. But if you haven't, 
No, you have. Just sing it in filming. No mic on. I think it's neat. Screw it. Just have fun and do whatever you want to do. This is me not worrying about trying to sell pieces to make money. This is me uh, tired of looking at the baby fat baby dragon. Oh yeah, it was the fat baby dragon. This is me tired of tired of looking at the fat baby dragon. Now we'll let this stuff dry off for a couple days. I like it when it gets some of that blue color in there. Where's that blue? Let's get a little bit of that blue color in there. Put a little bit on our brush. Then you get nice. Different colors. There's that green blue color I was looking for. I think it's good. I think it's better than it was. Some of you might be like, Jordy, you wrecked it. Well, sorry that I disappointed you. I wonder if I can get some yellow. Where's a small paintbrush? Oh, I just spilled more all over my thing. Get some yellow in those uh, ice there. This would be great for... Um, like a elementary school or something for little kids. It's not scary. more fun than anything. And uh, let's put a little bit of yellow on these tips of the aggressive hordes. Aggressive baby horns gonna grow gonna grow up to be like a dragon's gonna grow up to be the most have the most gold in the world. Yeah, he's gonna hoard all his piles of gold that he's gonna steal from his um, people from the people that he doesn't like. It is Keith. Is that on screen? Yeah, so I gotta get going here soon, so. I'm going to dry this off with the blow dryer. Let's just do this. Screw it.
It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! What do you think about that just car, Rob? Super fun. I'm having super fun. But I got to end it. I got to get out of here. Let's just do a little bit of yellow on that. I don't know I can get carried away. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lie, it's a love, it's a lie. The baby patting is a lie. Good enough, that's it. <laughs> Man, I'm sick of looking at this wood spirit in my videos. There you go, look at that. Jesus. So let's end the video off here. We'll uh, let these. So we'll let this dry. I gotta do something with that owl too. Um, and we'll let the fat baby dragon dry. Jesus! We'll give you guys the full 360 of it. Let them dry out. We'll come back in a couple days when it stops raining. And we will put some clear coat on these. Oh, no, I got... Oh, shit. I got a bunch of paint all over the... Uh, it's carelessness. All over the... Friggin... Thing, thing. Anyways. Don't be a Jordy. Don't be a Jordy. Keep your areas clean and don't spill shit. Garden Fusion. Happy Sunday or Saturday. <laughs>